I want to start from where I first began, South Korea. This is my hometown and will always be a nostalgic place. This is a picture of one of my favorite field trips when I became a policeman. This is especially memorable because we got lost by a Congo's flower field. Korean kindergarten was an important part of my life because it has provided me with various opportunities. I learned physics from Isaac Newton and classic literature from The Little Mermaid. Age 5, I learned about relationships. I think this was my first boyfriend. When I was a little over 4 years old, one of my kidneys malfunctioned. I spent a year in the ICU and getting various surgeries. I remember the time when I wouldn't give up the curry that came out for lunch even though I didn't have the appetite to eat it. I think this was when my obsession with food started. Family immigrated to America when I was 6. We lived 5 minutes away from Disneyland so we went every single day. I was very lonely in California because I didn't know how to speak English. Disneyland was my only friend. My mom is my mentor, teacher, friend, and mom. All my life values and moral and ethical values come from my mom. Many of my family members tell me that I am the exact replica of my mom, except for my looks. My mom is the most beautiful person, and I love her dearly. My dad is where my humor comes from. He's a tall, strong-looking man who is actually the opposite. He was an English teacher in Korea, but ironically, he is now better at Spanish than English. We agree upon most things in life, except when we eat. Sunny is just like her name, a sunny, happy, lovely person. She's my go-to whenever I feel sad because she will show me funny videos and pictures or buy me food. Despite being the younger one, Sunny sometimes acts like the older sister. My family is my past, present, and future. Their love and support led me this far and will lead me even further. Yeah. Just stop acting like you didn't hear me or Yo, sorrow me bon turn and don't mind and don't matter do your day girl. I know what's up on your mind, stuff for in it, tell me. Hannah, Christina, and Gina, and me, were the four musketeers, the four unblood related sisters. Now that Gina is in New York, it is now the Fab Three. I love Hannah and Christina very much. They are essential to my life. They pull me up whenever I'm struggling and celebrate with me whenever I'm happy. They always make me laugh like a crazy pea, and together we are crazy green peas in a pot. I'm sad that we are all splitting up for college, but I know our friendship will continue. Yonkyo is like a sister, but he doesn't like that so much, so I guess he's my brother. Yonkyo tells me a lot about relationships, but I never really take him seriously because he doesn't have much experience. But I thank him for taking all my sarcasm. When Anna and I became friends, after an exchange of cookies and Miss York's Alma 2 honors, we headed to a path with no return. Our friendship has become very unique as we discuss topics ranging from high school to international affairs. She inspired me to understand veganism and environmental awareness. Hannah is one of the most strongest girls I've ever met. Her passion is so great that each word that comes out of her mouth is power. She knows everything to everything. As a walking Google, she has also become a source of influence for me to stand up for what I believe in. Grace was just the type of person I needed to meet as I headed on to senior year. She was my emotional support. I can easily relax with her amazing smoothies, brownies, and ramen. She has also taught me how to be adventurous each day of my life. She is truly the amazing Grace. Austin is my double beer. I have great memories with him during my senior year. We were salt and pepper and cat and dog. But I love him a lot. Through Austin, I learned how to embrace emotions and think for the other person. He has taught me a lot about selflessness. 
look for the My three necessities are basketball, music, and food. Playing on the school team has taught me how to release my stress through sports and build a different kind of relationship, non-existent in any other situation. Music is a source of my inspiration and happiness. I play the guitar, flute, and piano, and also sing in a band. Music taught me friendship, romance, maturity, and other life lessons. This explains the songs I chose for the project, K-pop and Disney soundtrack. They represent each stage of my life as a journey and an adventure. My life motto is, I live to eat, not eat to live. It was hard for me to find pictures for this project because most of my pictures were just of food. Food makes me happy and I think food makes others happy as well. I like to share my joy through cooking, baking, sharing. I'll spend the next four years at UC San Diego studying biochemistry. I wanted to become an astronaut ever since I was very little. This actual astronaut suit I tried on temporarily fired back my passion with space exploration. I love learning about the universe, the galaxy, and the stars. I hope that in the future I can study more about space through astronomical and aerospace classes in college. However, my true passion lies with medicine. This was fostered through the continuing illnesses of my family members, and especially when I went to a medical missionary trip in Belize. I want to head into medical school in five years. I will study hard and maybe take a gap year for another missionary trip. I want to quickly become a surgical doctor so I can give back to the world community.